Plato has a pagan view of human nature and he basically sees us as souls and bodies. It doesn't have the notion of spirit. The soul is good and the body is evil and there, there are various problems with the Greek notion of human nature because they'll see that the body is evil and the spirit is good. Because of Christian theology, we're going to question that. Not only question it, we're going to repudiate it because God himself took on a body. So the body can't be evil as the pagan philosophers presented it because God himself took on a body. The Gnostics will hold to Plato's view because the Gnostics will talk about knowledge as an internal mental thing and they will be able to ignore what they do with their bodies. They've come to the false conclusion that because their faith in Jesus covers their sins that it doesn't matter what they do because it's all about what he did, correct conclusion, but falsely applied there because they're informed by a Gnostic view of human nature. But Gnosticism becomes a heresy in the early church, doesn't exist in Plato's day, but it's based on this idea of body-soul and the soul being good and the body being evil. So it doesn't matter if what I do with my body because my body's evil anyway and my body's going to perish and I'll be raised again and I'll have a soul, but not an embodied soul.